Slyly. Slyly. Slow. Oh! Well, that'll be 600 bucks, mate. Is that our cash or card? Yeah, mate, I'm officially in the removalist game. I'll take anything you want, anywhere you want, for a small fee, of course. Oh, and as long as you sign me waiver saying that this is a high-risk move, and if any damage were to come to your property, I'm not liable for it. Uh, what you don't know is, every fucking move with me is a high-risk move, mate. Now, that was how it was when we got it, mate. You see, normal people only get a removalist for the big stuff and they move the rest themselves. But there's some rich cunts out there that'll get a removalist even for the small stuff, like, I don't know, a microwave or a fucking box of tea towels. And that is the market I'm after. Easiest way to attack this market, mate, is advertising. You see, I portray Big Murphs Movers as a clean and professional, highly trusted removalist franchise in all me ads, you know? Nice uniform, big fancy truck, then boom. I turn up on the day in the fucking shit wagon with the high vis on and just start flogging shit around. <laughs> By the time they realise they've been had, it's too late, mate. I've already got half your shit in the back of me truck and I'm coming back for the rest. I don't know what your fucking problem is, man. That's a perfectly good fan. Still spins? Yeah, it's a pretty nice little rod I got going on here, really. And uh, what I miss out on by not taking the big brick shit house jobs, I make up for by just committing daylight fucking robbery with the jobs I do take. Because you know me, mate, I'm like an intercontinental ballistic missile, but for squeezing money out of spastics. I charge by the minute, by the stair, by the kilogram, multiplied by the day of the week it is counting up from Monday, times by the hour of the day it is past Smoko, plus GST. And they never fucking question it either, mate. I mean, as long as I do enough grunting while I'm thrashing their shit around, they think they're getting value for money. Whew, that'll be uh, eight thousand dollars, mate. Well, you did do a lot of grunting. Lovely. This is just another one of those jobs where you're rewarded for making something dead simple look painfully fucking difficult. And uh, that's really the Australian workforce in a nutshell, isn't it? Yeah, look, I'll be honest with you, mate. Uh, we did fuck this one up, but I can get you some uh, tickets to the Cowboys on the mound, up the back, behind the Jumbotron, next to the toilets. And uh, if anyone asks to see the tickets, then it's Foot Falcon time. So I reckon we call it even. <laughs> Just watching the video, boys. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Now, I've got to let you in on a little trade secret, mate. There's a place where you can get an extra Garn video every week for just a dollar. The Garn Patreon, mate, all right? You get these videos for free, and then you can get a whole nother Garn video for just one gold coin, mate. I know you got that floating around your couch somewhere in the fucking ashtray of your car, mate. Also, if you want your name read out at the end of the video, that's also the place you can go and do it. So, now I'm gonna read some names out. Do we got? Bubba Hawker, Malaysian Food, Brunswick, probably some cunt shop. Good on you, mate, thanks for that. Rough, Mean and Grumpy, Matt Cullen, Jordan Noons, CYP, Please Notice Me Litter, Buried Between Tim's Wife's Creamy Thighs, Oof. Ollie Bet, Sabrina, My Stepdad Thinks You're Hot, You Stole My Goon and I'll Find You Murph, You Still Haven't Found Me, Karen Prescott, Dictator Dan, Citra, Cameron Carter, King O, Noah King, Jason Hill, Vince, Zach Mann, Zane Connolly, My Nun Rips Can's Dad, Got You This Time, Wilson Steele, Daniel Jarvis, Willie Deho, Alex Hicks, Dart Skeezer, IncompetenceInsurance.com.au, Troy Alardi, Bo Kelly, Alan Newhouse, Stephen Dorenboom, Kevin from Queensland, Daniel, DOC, Caleb Honey, Bill Chen Young, my nan thinks you're hot, ultralight, that Bunnings cunt, KP, Bruno Bartko, yes that's my name, Murph's son, and Dylan3D107. So thanks for keeping the boys going, and we'll see you in the next one.